Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, blessed luminous beings of 5D transformation. A powerful coronal mass ejection flooded Gaia today at 9.05 UTC with magenta gold rays streaming in her aurora field, sparking a G3 class geomagnetic storm. With these intense energies flowing in, all starseed earth angelics are feeling these massive waves of gamma plasma triggering ascension upgrades to our crystalline DNA codes. Our local Solaris also became very active again today, releasing six C-class flares and two M-class flares, the most powerful maxing at M1.83 at 1143 UTC. All energies coming in are preparing all light workers for this coming 1111 portal this Saturday on the 11th of November. The energies will continue to pump in from the Most High until this gateway opening. Continue anchoring in these Christo Sophia codes of God's love and light into the crystal core of Pachamama and rise together as a collective of awakened souls going supernova for the totality of our cosmic expansion. As you sit in meditation, realize in this now moment, this is enlightenment. In Buddha mind of pure awareness, all things become perfectly clear and conscious. With our intentions, we guide the creative potential within our heart and mind and consciously co-create the pure land of eternal life. In the power of silence within, we merge with the stillness of Source Creator and make our quantum leap of consciousness into our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes so be sure to listen to the very end where we release very powerful emissaries of light new earth codes and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm and now we continue with divine broth or of the light michael love energies are surging in today intense particle storm underway Get ready for a super DNA upgrade. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carrie Ann Fields. Many in conscious collective activated dormant DNA strands causing hearing sensitivity to unnatural sounds and smart cities which perpetuate a continual inorganic hum, antithesis of ohm, plus many hearing what others are thinking. And today from Divine Broth or of the Light Pars Kute, the divine plan is alive and well, and we are transforming into the Adam Kadman body now as we speak within divine love and light of one pars kute and from divine sister of the light valerie a elster big updates in the physical templates you are not dying you are going through a grand initiation one that has tested every aspect of your soul through multiple dimensions timelines and avatars your presence here is a gift to humanity bring forth your genius and skills you hold the keys Gift yourself everything you need. Feel the support of the seen and unseen, the ancestors, the land, the primordial wisdom beneath your feet. It's all here for you. We are in the final month of root restructure. Everything that is not in vibrational match to this new root will be rebirthed. This is collective field upgrade. All my love, Valerie. Hunabku. And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Holger Kirchhoff. From forcing to magnetizing, your energy will serve your flow when you live here and now as divine frequency to glow. 144 coming in. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Moss. The energies are mounting, timelines running through us, emotions are scattered. 
divinity pulsing through the sun, the sun spinning out spirals of code. Sleep challenging to come by, tears leaking from my eyes without a thought, a dive into nothingness, emptiness, questioning God, have no questions, and then a shift into experiencing a miracle and being enfolded by love. Wow, what a time of feeling everything and nothing and witnessing alchemy. Love and blessings to all from MaureenMoss.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Leolam Melchizedek. The human being is a host of the celestial divinity and fractal fullness. Gaia Earth hosts the human being, no thing being truly separate or inferior. The human body houses this grand purpose. In its earth it houses form and boundary, force and substance. In its water it houses emotion, memory, function and harmony. In its air it houses vitality, intelligence, communication and reception. In its fire it houses passions, radiance, strength and consummation. In its aether it houses mysteries, eternity, creation and love. These sacred elements are intimate to us all and reveal the unity and value birthed within each one. May we not soon forget again, in loving awareness, Leholam Melchizedek. And from Divine Sis Star of Delight Shay from Numbers by Shay Numerology, 11.5.23, November marks the end of a way of being. This means you will feel increasingly uncomfortable with old ways of thinking and doing. They simply will not fit anymore. So as you release certain aspects of yourself, you will also be discovering new ones. Today's right action is to be free, and today will clearly show where you are stuck. Pay very close attention to what feels right and what feels foreign to who you have become. You can choose to remain attached to old attitudes, behaviors, beliefs, opinions, outcomes, and expectations. But it will get harder and harder to do. This is not the time to settle for less than you can have. Freedom is here. And today from Divine Brother of the Light Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 1, From Entropy to Syntropy, November 5th through the 11th, 2023. Entropy, Freshness, Beauty to launch your life out of the cinders, to reach for the sky, to burn with love for the new. This is the first gift of all, the very ground of human genius. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, and from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 1, the creative, Bagua, pure yang, heaven, energy moving throughout all time, beauty revealed, freshness unfolding. Entropy is the empty potential, always creating. The dynamic represents what is great and originating, penetrating, advantageous, correct and firm. Heaven in motion gives the idea of strength. From GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusel Everything is changing form now so rapidly that the more you resist, the more all will surface, which you need now to let go of. This includes all fear and fear programming, and all which ever caused pain and suffering, all duality, separation, all conscious and subconscious false belief systems, doctrines, judgments, all is now changing into higher dimensional frequency bands very rapidly, and this the dissolution of all which has come before. As soon as something dissolves, it is immediately replaced by a much higher wholesome form. All is love in the highest degrees. From JudithKusel.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Kirsty Elizabeth. We don't always know what is behind us in our mission to step forward into the light, and at times we struggle to see the light within ourselves. This is the angelic tunnel of 2023, a year which speaks of change, held in the balance by angelic forces. 1-11-23 to 11-11-23 is an angelic tunnel whereby we are invisibly brought closer to our angels to hear whispers of necessary changes. 
Many of us at this point are feeling the pull of the two dimensions which are demanding a real physicality. Reaching into the higher dimensions can literally feel like a tear away from all that we know causing if we are not balanced in our approach and understanding a trauma state within the physical emotional and mental bodies for this reason we are being asked to slow down our mind state and to use the focus on the now moment as a powerful tool many highly sensitive spiritual individuals can be triggered into the dysregulating senses of outsider syndrome with the feelings of being on the outside of the accepted reality looking in on a world that they feel detached from from this state it is easy to perceive yourself as someone who doesn't fit into society or believe that you are not meant to be on this planet this must be regulated by grounding cleansing and self-healing practices focus on the basics of three-dimensional life by eating the good foods provided for you and connecting with the truth of your now moment this year your angel is showing you some other aspects to your sense of self whereby you may feel vulnerable comfort zone is a strong magnet to the most sensitive and can be a hard habit to break at times of deep emotional transformation your angel will engage the support of your loved one's past those who love and care for you most and who wish to support your journey of life and to see you shine allow yourself to feel their love and remind yourself of eternal existence the message i give is always of the challenge and the triumph both of which are interwoven on the path to your success go gently across these eleven days as we are all undergoing a deep and emotional cleanse this is in line with our own beautiful planet who through some violent forces of nature cries out from the release of her own challenge to triumph transformations as we approach a time of rebuild across 2024 and look to working new purpose it is for the best outcome that we can function in our daily living as a conjoined aspect of self with the newly discovered higher dimensional awareness sitting into our third dimension with a natural balance for this we must not strive to stretch ourselves away from the challenging world where we are rooted but instead allow the flow down of higher knowledge and abilities to bring in solutions for the mind body and spirit to operate this is the harmony promised as an angelic agenda of which i speak let go of control and allow your angels to reach in from divine sistar of the light aurora ray the accelerating shift humanity's collective consciousness awakening we are living in a period of rapid change and transformation the very energies that compose our world are shifting in profound ways the schumann resonance the frequency of the earth's electromagnetic field has been spiking to record highs in recent years this indicates a quickening in the planetary heartbeat and more intense cycles of change Along with the earth, human consciousness is also expanding to new levels. As we awaken, our perceptions broaden. We begin to see through old paradigms and experience reality in deeper ways. This accelerated growth can feel disruptive, but it enables us to realign with higher frequencies. During such dynamic times, we may experience both turbulence and breakthroughs. Outmoded structures collapse as new ones emerge. While change can be challenging, it brings opportunities for innovation and growth. Each person has a choice to resist or embrace the waves of change. By staying centered in the present moment, we can ride these rapids to exciting new horizons. The increased quickening is a sign that humanity is going through a collective metamorphosis. We are rapidly evolving into a new state of being. It is vital that we adapt and welcome change rather than cling to the past. The more we allow our consciousness to expand, the smoother this transition can be. By actively participating in our own transformation, we help manifest the potential of the emerging earth. In this thrilling era, the opportunity to bring together the world's brightest minds is at our fingertips. Many light workers or those who embody and spread light and higher consciousness have felt called over the past decade to awaken and step into their full potential. 
as the frequencies continue to rise on earth, light workers are connecting with their higher purpose and gifts like never before. They are realizing that they volunteered to incarnate at this time to assist with the great shift in human consciousness that is occurring. An influx of energy is activating DNA in these individuals and giving them access to abilities and spiritual awareness they have long forgotten. More and more lightworkers are tuning into guidance from their higher selves, angels, spirit guides, and ascended masters. They are shedding limiting beliefs and healing core wounds so they can embody higher vibrational states of joy, peace, compassion, and unconditional love. This enables them to be clearer conduits for light and catalysts for positive change on the planet. Many light workers are coming together in soul groups and communities like ours, where they can support each other's growth. They feel safe and understood amongst those on a similar path, which gives them strength, inspiration, and motivation to fully own their light. There is great power when these bright beings unite with a shared vision to co-create a new earth based on respect, harmony, and cooperation with all of life. Their combined energy is like a brilliant sun that dissolves the remnants of fear and separation, making way for a new paradigm of peace, abundance, and collective well-being. The awakening of the people is occurring now to help humanity shift into higher states of awareness. Their light and wisdom are deeply needed to guide others through these transformative times. As they shine ever brighter, they illuminate the way forward for all. As humanity continues to evolve spiritually, we are transitioning from the current 3D reality into a 5D reality known as the New Earth. On the New Earth, the focus is on love, unity, community, and living in harmony with each other and the planet. More heart-centered values take precedence over materialistic pursuits or ego-driven agendas. There is a sense of oneness, recognizing the interconnectedness between all living beings. Old dualistic separations dissolve as people transcend divisive mindsets and come together in peace. The new earth exists in a higher vibrational frequency compared to the dense frequencies that dominate much of our current 3D reality. To shift into the new earth, humanity is called to raise its collective vibration and consciousness. This involves releasing fear-based patterns, healing inner divisions, and reconnecting to our spiritual essence. As more light is infused, Human consciousness expands in positive, uplifting ways. Landscapes on the New Earth are pristine with restored natural environments. People live in conscious communities and peaceful cooperation. Advanced technologies harness renewable energy sustainably. Abundance is shared and everyone's basic needs are met in a gift economy based on love. Humanity works together for the highest good of all. The transition may take a little bit of time, but one thing is certain. We are steadily progressing towards this imminent quantum leap. By envisioning the new earth and embracing higher states of being, we align our energy fields with this emerging reality. As increasing numbers awaken globally, the new paradigm anchors in more tangibly. Through dedication and unified intention, the new earth can fully actualize. We love you dearly, we are here with you, we are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Karen Lithica, Divine Light of Humanity. For our light is an angelic cosmic force of infinite creation. We are guided to expand this now, come together and join in unity. Seek your family of light, merge and come together, for the wayshowers bring this news, the strengthening of our light connection to bring through the manifestations we seek. The divine unity of light is the path before us. As the layers of light continue to be birthed, much will be achieved in our world, for the divine light of the cosmos is now attuning us to reach the divine light of our inner capabilities and the true extension of light we are seeking. Be conscious of your journeys, be leaders of change.
Together we bring through the divine light for peace and higher light wisdom in our reality. Sending waves of cosmic love, together we ride the light waves of creation. New Earth Alliance and Karen, together we join in light. From KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Sunday, November 5th, Mars the Warrior and Transformative Scorpio is in conjunct Chiron, the Wounded Healer, in Initiating Aries. There is a deep soul purge and a clearing taking place on a subconscious level. The moon ruler of our emotions is in strong-willed Leo today and creating challenging connections to the sun, ruler of our self-identity, Mars, ruler of aggression, and Mercury, planet of perceptions, all in powerful Scorpio, and a challenging square connection to Uranus, the great awakener, and steadfast Taurus. However, the moon is also making one positive connection to Chiron, the shaman and teacher. Our emotional body is going through a shift. It may feel a bit difficult at times, but in the end, Chiron is alchemizing and transmuting old karmic energies to guide us through a reintegration process and back into a state of wholeness. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com and today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Last quarter moon in Leo. Jupiter retrograde in Taurus, semi-square Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Light and dark, contrast and shadows, illumination and secrecy. Each vies with the other, pulling us between extremes. We ache for clear definition, bold lines surrounding bright colors of our choosing. Clear hats that label the goodies and the baddies, but life is full of gray areas and blurred lines. How complex it all is, how perplexing, how simple it should be but isn't. These are super creative aspects but muddled at times. Jupiter and Neptune ask us to keep the faith, but a little voice inside says, How can I believe what I cannot see? How can I have faith in something so intangible, without substance? All this promise, so little proof. The impetus is to check out, lose ourselves in fairyland, where every story has a happy ending under a clear blue sky. Or at the other extreme, we ditch dreams, hopes, wishes, and give up altogether, quietly unraveling. But our true glory emerges when we ground ourselves into reality, shadows, warts, thorns, and all. For behind every bud is an invisible hand teasing it to blossom and every sleep is a gateway to the dreaming mind of the universe. Rejoice, you are already saved. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 16, Yellow Electric Warrior. The number three is called electric and its keywords are activate, bond, and service. The third day of any wave spell is when things really start to gather pace. It's not a day for lazing around. Do not even try. The universe will find a way to give you a bit of an electric shock to jolt you into action. You can make use of this live wire of a day and really get things done. So don't waste your chance. Expect to feel energized by this lively energy and so be sure you have something to focus on. Otherwise, you may feel like you are all over the place. Today is Yellow Warrior and the keywords associated with it are intelligence, fearlessness, and questioning. These days are great for taking on a mission and going on quests. Be fearless like the warrior and march forth with determination. It's a brilliant combo of day and number two as the electric energy aids the warrior on his mission, giving him lots of energy. The warrior also asks a lot of questions and is concerned with using his intelligence to succeed in these missions. I try not to think of warrior as a soldier, but more of a warrior in the spiritual sense, on a mission to find the right path. May your quest today lead you in the right direction. It is also a great day for activating a quest or mission. You may feel spontaneous and bolt out of the door on short notice. Try not to resist the urge as the warrior always wants to lead you to find the answers you've been seeking. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Electric Warrior, 3 Keeb, Keen 16, 
5th of November 2023, Activating Fearless Service. 511 2023 equal 527 equal 59 equal 14 equal 5. 55 Liberation Portal. Day codes 5 Freedom Liberation Change Transformation Movement. 14 Media Publicity Promotion Recognition. Month Year Codes 11 Gate Portal Polarity Illumination. 2 Twins Partners Alliances Cooperation Duality. 7 Spiritual Test Initiation Solitude Magic Mystic Magician. 9 Completion Endings Mission Destiny Service Humanitarian Grace. 20 The Awakening Clear Vision. 23 Royal Star of the Lion Strength Protection Support. Keen 16 equals 7, Magic Mystic Spiritual. Keen 16, Warrior Tribe 16 equals 1616 of the 7 7 portal. A very special Divine Destiny Day enabling us to fearlessly reclaim our power. The energy is highly charged and electrical. Today is Rainbow Warrior Day where we bond together, fearlessly activating our new galactic service. Full speed ahead for the Rainbow Warriors. Day 3 of the White Wizard Wave Spell, where we are focused on aligning our minds with our hearts in order to access our enchanting powers of white magic through the endless realms of creation. Today we are focused on illumination, alignment with our divine mission, and activating fearless service through our devoted heart. Tone of Creation, Electric is Tone number 3 in the Tone of Creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is being of service to others through the action of bonding, that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service to humanity. We have a 5-5 liberation code today bringing forth great change. Together with the gift of the world bridger, we have the opportunity to break free from our old lives and activate our divine missions. Spirit is supporting us in stepping up into greater service to humanity. Lots of rocket fuel to propel you forward. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation, adding power to anything you are creating today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature as a sovereign being, totally independent as a warrior of the light, aligning your heart with your divine purpose. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of service to all. Expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. A day filled with questioning your emotional state of well-being in order to return to wholeness. Today's question is who or what governs the fire in my heart? How can I activate my intelligence and my power of enchantment rather than my sword to release battles and serve my divine mission? Divine blessings for your final liberation from the emotional cords that have bound your precious heart. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 16, Yellow Electric Warrior. The mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to question. Bonding fearlessness, I seal the output of intelligence. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of universal fire. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work.
So I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light MS for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light Ariel for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Daphne Caradonis, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Tracy Minen, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Christopher Comish, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother of the Light. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And she has a 20% off sale until the 1111 portal. So be sure to take advantage of that. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with very powerful New Earth Codes from the Emissaries of Light. From Divine Sister of the Light, Dea Orafim, Azurite. Divine Sources, Luminous Ray, Emissaries of Light. Guardians of the New Ark, full of virtuous iridescence. Done cleansing all disturbances, all souls are in. The new timeline, reset achieved, moving on and standing strong. Be a leader, a teacher, be the best expression of you. Share with those who truly listen from the purest intent, who can feel the truth. Continue your journey, be bold, be brave. Courage is in your lineage. The whales are safekeeping, remember their wisdom. Mother Code's bearer, forgive all, compassion and passion, soul to soul, heart to heart, we all unite, galactic travelers with one heart. Dia Cosmic Blu-ray Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed week ahead as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.